All right, you know what? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy. Gaming end in this episode. We're going to continue working our way up to the very top of the Deshong Tower. I got to adjust something here. Push that back just a little bit. Okay, so uh, you may notice uh, in the video uh, that the format is a little bit different than usual. And that is because I am now the proud owner of a uh, Samsung 34-inch Odyssey G5 ultra-wide gaming monitor, curved monitor. So, yes, I am now in the ultra-wide gaming world. And so I got this big-ass monitor <laughs> in front of my face, and it's like, wow. 34-inch um, uh, curved monitor. Never used curved monitor before. Um, so I got it. I have it fairly close to my face, and it's it's very immersive, and it's really cool, but I have to, I'll have to get used to it a little bit. Uh, but in order for me to... Um, record and show you know the entire screen to you guys i have to i had to change obs so that it would basically be in you know like the widescreen format with the black bars on the top and the bottom so the good part about that is that i've moved my my face cam as you can see um down to the bottom of the video in the black area so so that will not be covering the video any longer and uh you know you'll just have to kind of think of it as uh or treat it like you're watching a widescreen movie um, because if I don't do that, if I if I keep it at the the usual res resolution, fourteen forty p is what I normally record at. What will happen is it'll cut off the sides of the screen, and you guys won't see my menus on the sides of the screen. So that uh, yeah, so that's the deal there. Um, so anyway, yep, let's get started. So we are going to we, let's see, we got two more floors to cover here on Deshong Tower. Let's see, we're infected. That sucks and. It looks like our pants are kind of damaged, and we could probably stand to use a little bit of healing, too. Why don't we eat uh, one of these stews here? That'll give us a little bit of healing back. And um, does Roberta the robotic drone... Go. Oh, help? you're loud. Okay, she doesn't, have, she doesn't have any more bandages. Oh, my God. We don't have any more bandages, you guys. Uh, yeah, we do. We have three. <laughs> We have three more bandages. That's not good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, Let's take uh, one of those. I'm not going to leave it up to Roberta to heal us. We're going to keep the rest of those. In fact, let's put these down here. Uh, we do have pills, though. Okay. So, you know what? Let's take one of those, too. And uh, we'll, we'll take a red tea to help kind of counter that. And just a little bit encumbered too aren't we oh one of you guys reminded me in the comments Ready that, for duty. man she's loud i don't know why she's so doggone loud uh that roberta has storage i completely spaced that off yeah she's got storage so we're going to put some of the heaviest stuff in her and she can hold up to 169 pounds there um why am i hanging on to that i don't know why i'm hanging on to that let's just scrap it that's not worth a worth a rat's ass man okay we're hanging on to that for sure and uh, we'll put this in there, and we already we already did the weight thing, so I want to actually keep those with me. And we'll just load her up, and then that'll free us up, of course. For no, we want to keep that with us. We want to keep those. There we go. Okay, so she's all loaded up. She's definitely still fine in terms of weight, uh, but that also gets us back down to where we're not so doggone heavy either oh wow this <laughs> this widescreen monitor you guys this is crazy okay so let's go ahead and head on into here now i've got a bad feeling about this oh, okay let's go say have we we have no we haven't gone through this because this is the this is the hospital floor okay i might i might have to push this back just a little bit more it's like wow Okay, um, so we got a cabinet there, and I'm going to turn this down just a smidge, too. It's a bit loud in my ears. Uh, nothing to loot there. Here we go. Nope, nothing to loot in here either. Okay, so I guess that's it for that. Look at that. I got, I got somebody right there. Okay. Off with your head. 
Well, we got somebody else's attention. We got a couple. A couple three. All right, y'all dead. Y'all all are dead. Come on, give us something good. All right, we got a book. We need books. Oh, dude, this widescreen monitor is awesome. This is the first game I, I, I've played on it. I, I spent most of the afternoon setting things up. So actually, if you're curious, what I actually did was I've been playing on a 27-inch Acer Nitro monitor. I've had that for a couple of years. And then I had a couple of um, 1080 monitors, just cheap-ass 1080 monitors on the side. So, you know, three monitor setup. What I did was I bought this 34-inch um, yeah, Samsung and curved monitor, right? And so that's in front of me. I bought another 27-inch Nitro monitor, and I still have my old one. So I have a 27-inch on the right and one on the left. And I put everything on Visa mounts, too. So that way, you know, I could move them around, and they're not taking up space with a stand on the desk and that sort of thing. And, um, yeah, so I, I spent the whole day setting all that stuff up. Uh, this time of year, my work gives us a a, a, a bonus because it's the end of our fiscal year. And so, you know, I usually have a little bit extra cash. So I treated myself to these, you know, it's a new monitor setup, which is awesome. And um, anyway, so, yeah, this is the very first game I'm actually playing on this monitor. I, I, I've started up a couple other games just to make sure everything was working and to set OBS up. But this is the first time I'm actually playing. So this is really cool, man. If you guys have never tried an ultra widescreen monitor, it's crazy because it, you know, it's wider, of course, and it's curved in this particular case. So it's just, it's just more immersive, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. So yeah, fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Okay, let's see. Is this lootable? Yes, it is. Get a book and some dollar dollar bills, and doesn't look like there's anything else lootable here. This door is locked. Let's go through here. Man, it's like almost bugging me out in a, a little bit. <laughs> uh, didn't we? We didn't. Oh, no. I guess we didn't come around this way. Okay. It's. I'm just going to have to get used to it is all because it's It's. It's just a different experience, you know? Oh, shit. Where at? Ceiling? All right, I'll take you out. I hear more. Okay, let's take some uh, uh, coffee from you. A little bit of miso action. Okay, I guess this other Zeke is stuck on something or being derpy to derp. You know, we are in the hospital section of this building. It would be very nice to find an antibiotic. Just saying. Some goth boots. BDUs. You dead. Nothing in here? What about this room? What about this room? All right, we got a medical stash thingy with some acid in it. Another one. And I guess that's it, right? We already looted that. Okay, that door's locked, so I guess it wants us to go this way. A picture on the floor. We were just in there. Okay, nothing over that way. A trash can that we can loot. Whoops. Okay, we got some loots in there. Um, let's take this guy apart. So we need our ratchet. And that's it. Okay, up the stairwell, man. To the next level. Two more floors, guys. Two more floors. 
Can't get up that way. All right, what do we got going on in here? This is more office space. There's all the doodle behind that desk. I don't th think so. No, nope, we're good. Ah, uh, look at that wall safe. Yeah, baby. All right, let's take um, I'm gonna take one of these. And see what's in here. Weighted head mod. All right. All right, come on, zombos. Why the hell did that alert them when I opened the safe? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Okay, here. Oh, shit, you're here. I'll take your teeth out. Is he dead? I guess so, yeah. He thumped us pretty good. You guys are so stupid. Oh shit. Alright, let's check these books. Just got a little bit of paper there. Nothing to write home to mother about. Uh, we got a safe here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that safe's already been busted open, man. Not by me. Somebody else did that. We got some shenanigans going on here. I didn't know zombies could open safes. Uh, that doesn't have any charges in it. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're good to go. Nothing there. Desk is not lootable. This desk is lootable. Eh, sewing kits. Those are always welcome. Nothing up that way. Nothing behind there. Okay, so this is all spiked off here. Charges? Nope. Why do I have a feeling like we're going to get rushed here? Probably Zeke's behind that counter there. You think? Nothing behind there. Let's check this. No Zika Roos. We're good to go, man. That uh, Yeah, let's unlock this because there might be a book or even a schematic in here. There we go. Right about there. Oh. Okay, well, our uh, pick was not ready to be broken. Twelve paper. Not really worth it, but... Okay, there used to be, like, a thing over here. And maybe there still is. Let's check it out. you to go down can, can you not okay you can't go down lower fine whatever uh nothing there make sure we can actually get in here yep okay so there's a safe one of those one of those a weapons bag uh, nice iron breaker. What do we uh, what do we have right now? Uh, modify. I already have a purple iron breaker. Okay, so that isn't really going to help us a whole lot. And uh, let's open it up this safe. A D level M60. Okay, not as good as the one we have, but still a nice find, no doubt about that. All right. All right, anything in here? Another uh, another safe that's already open. That's hacks, man. What the hell? Guess we go through here. There we go. There's some victims. Uh, 
Rob Burr Finance. <laughs> That's pretty damn funny. <laughs> Burr Finance. Is that new? I don't remember that in the old Deshong Tower. Robber Finance. Some very nice sniping opportunities here. Robber Finance. I've seen everything now, man. And stay down. I said stay down. What do we got here? Uh, Gumbo Stew, I already know that. We'll scrap it and we'll take the M-Yo mission. Little crossbow bolt action there. And I guess that's it. Okay. Oh, this is where we have to do some fancy schmancy parkour, huh? All right, we're uh, we're in good shape as far as that goes. We have a broken leg. Well, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. Get up on uh, up on the ladder. Really? What <laughs> what was that all about? I don't think he knows we're here. All right, I'm supposed to jump this gap. That didn't work so well. Okay. Try that again. We might need to put a, a frame down or something. Why didn't that work so well? I don't know. You know what though? I don't want to risk breaking my leg again, so we're gonna we're gonna do this the easy peasy way. All right, where's our buddy at? Come on, dude. Come say hello. He was already damaged from falling. Interesting. All right. This is the room with the fat loots. Uh, but let's let's just finish clearing the place. So we're supposed to go in here. We got some books on the floor. Oh, we got somebody's attention. Sounds like a feral white, maybe, and something else. Where you guys at? Do we? Oh, I was gonna say we didn't kill both of them, did we? That guy's not as scary looking as he used to be. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but I don't think he's as scary looking as he used to be. Oh. Uh, all right, do we have, let's grab this. Pick that up. I think the older version of that dude was scarier. Just saying. Nothing there. No charges. Is that, no, that's beer. Man, we need some honey. Kind of in bad shape, infection wise. Uh, okay. Check all of these. Nothing in the bathroom. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Where are they? All right, come at me, bros. They didn't even touch our box, or box, our uh, thing, whatever the hell that thing's called. All right, let's open this up. A rusty cleaver, B-level rusty cleaver, okay. Check all this stuff here. Some books. Books. 
Nothing, nothing special there. A couple cabinets up that way. All right, let's go in through here. There's a big ammo pile over that way. Football helmet. Charges? Yes, we have one charge. Think that's it for up here? Ah, look at that. Nice edX scope. We uh we came through this way, right? Yeah, okay. All right, we got a munitions box. What's okay, with a little bit of M Yo Nition in it. This desk is locked. With one bone. <laughs> One boat. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was worth it. I know we did get some lock picking skills, so is there anything we're missing over here? I don't think so. Alright, guys. It is time for the final encounter on the roof of the Deshong Tower. So let's head on out here. Uh, that's new. That built that little building thingy wasn't there before. We still got the tower here. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Oh nope. I guess we're not getting up that way. Never mind. That isn't gonna happen. Let's go around this way. Is that what is that? I guess that was a buzzard. We got the attention of a couple more Zeeks though. Okay, I have a feeling like things are a little bit hot. Get out of here. All right, let's uh. Oh shit. All right. Run this way. Oh, how'd you guys get over here? Do 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 do. Shit. Uh, let's go this way. Close that door. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be safe in here. Son of a bitch. All right, let's get little friend out. This is do or die time, man. I'm kind of stuck on on here. Okay, we have to crouch down. We'll wait for him to break through. You know what? We should probably take this too. Just you know, health. Always a good thing. All right, you guys coming this way? Are you going to come through the roof? What are you going to do? All right, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, shit. All right, you know what? And we're dead. I can't do anything about it. Oh, shit. Oh, that was bad. Woohoo, man. We got our butts kicked. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, the good news is we're not infected anymore. Okay, that's the good news. That's the only good news. But that's the good news. Okay, let's... <laughs> Good lord, that was bad. I didn't mean to to run into a place that was going to be a dead end. What time is it? It's not nighttime yet. 
but I did, you know, and so, oh shit, okay, let's see if we can get back up to our stuff. Oh, we didn't leave any frames down here. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Where are all these zombies coming from? Are they repops? Mother. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of a conundrum here. Hey, there's a the thing. Look at that. Okay. We can't we're not gonna be able to just run up there willy nilly without any supplies or anything, so let's get back up here. I know it's dark as hell. Sorry about that. I don't have a light <laughs> at the moment. Maybe I'll have maybe I have an extra light in the base. We're gonna have to armor up a we'll weapon up and get some frames going. Uh, oh, no, go back here. Okay, so what do we have for armor? Oh, you know, we could take those, and these are, yeah, we'll just wear those. And we'll wear those, and we'll wear those, and these, and this, and it does have a light on it, so we're good to go there. Uh, I don't think we need lucky goggles at the moment for clothing. Sure, we'll wear those and we'll wear that and this and does that get us all clothed and armored? Pretty much, I guess. Tough guy sunglasses will give us more fortitude, so let's wear those two. All right, now for weapons. Let's take de, 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 de. let's take this guy. Uh, we'll take this sledgehammer here and the shotgun. Okay. We're gonna need five, five, six rounds. We're gonna need shotgun rounds, and that should do us fine for ammunition. Okay, so we got ammo, and we have armor, and we have weapons. Now, what do we need for meds? I have no bandages, but I do have pills. So we're going to grab some pills. Uh, let's, no, yeah, let's take a Skull Crushers and learn an elixir, and maybe some Fort Bites too, and maybe some steroids. Okay, uh, we'll grab some water to take to drink. Actually, here, let's grab this water. Okay, now let's see if we can um, recover our stuff. That was rough, man. <laughs> that was really rough. Ow. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring his frames. Shit. Um. Yeah, we need some frames. Because I, I pulled them up from the stairwell. Why are why are the hell why aren't you turning? There we go. Okay. You know what we're going to do is just take those frames. Come here. No. Don't be hitting that. Dumbass. Okay, here's somebody else. Footsteps. Over here. Come here. You too? All right, come here. 
All right, let's just grab these frames. That should be enough, hopefully. We got this, man. We got this. The top of the Deshong Tower has always been a pretty nasty business, so... I just, like I said, I didn't mean to run into a room with the dead end. It's just kind of worked out that way, so... Okay, so we're up here. And we should be fine now from any Zeeks from down below. So we'll just work our way up the stairwell here. All right, we're back up at the top. Uh, now, where's our stuff at? We ran, I think we ran back down here, right? And through here, maybe? Yeah, there's our backpack right over here. Okay, let's grab everything and resituate. Re so let's go here. All right, you need to go back down there, and we need to repair you too. So let's do that. Shotgun goes here. Big sledgehammer. What the hell? Is that my drone? It is. I'm stuck though, I can't move. Come on, drone. What are you doing to me, man? All right, that's a problem. Okay, let's uh, put our good armor back on. Um, that and that. I'm not sure what else we were wearing. Let's let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like we got everything back on that we normally wear, I guess. No, this too. Okay, we're good to go there. Uh, we are super heavy. Super duper heavy. So, drone, where are you, drone? Drone, you're... This is a problem, you guys. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do about this? Drone is... I'm stuck in the drone. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, I can't even get into the drone's inventory either. Is Oh, you know what? Is it because maybe I'm not stuck in the drone? Maybe I'm just too heavy. So where are my steroids? Let's grab some of those. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. All systems go. How may I help? Uh, you can help by taking some of this heavy stuff. There we go. Oh, it's nighttime. Wonderful. Yeah, this needs to go here. Uh, these meds can go down here, and I think we're back in business. Make sure everybody's loaded here. Okay, so, yeah, that was fun. Um, we have to figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna do this. I wasn't expecting to aggro the whole entire frickin' roof when we killed that one first Zeeker. So we did kill some of them, but not all of them, of course. What I think I'll do this time, if, if we get another ginormous rush, is we'll probably run down... We'll just go down the stairwell. Uh, oh, actually, we could go up this ladder and then <clears throat> take them out as they come up the ladder. I know we killed some of them, so we don't have the full gamut, but still. I can't quite get in there. Can I open this door over here? Could you make a little more noise, please? Okay, that's locked. Let's unlock it. Nothing else in here. Just 
just looking for any sniping opportunities. Nobody, man. All right, what about here? Let's let's go up here. Because on the ladder, you know, I can t pick them off as they come up the ladder if we get another rush. There's a vulture up there. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, I hear sleepies. They're all going to be over that way. Oh, you know what, though? The thing is, they can, come up, they can probably come along this catwalk, can't they? But even even with that, that's still going to line them up, you know, for headshots with little friend. All right, can I do this? Oh, I got somebody's attention. All right, here they come. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I'm preparing for conflict. Oh, you're going to come with the ladder? Okay. Are you dead? And nobody seems to want to come along the catwalk, which is fine with me. Just come on up the ladder, guys. Oh, shit. That it? I don't believe it. There's got to be more. Unless we really did kill that many the first time around. Alright, here. Let's do this. There's nobody in there. Okay. There's a backpack down there. Come on. Get down the... Get down. Get down there. I think we... I think that's it, you guys. Really? Wow. I think that's it. Yeah, we must, we must have killed more the first time around than I thought we did. You know, with the explosives and stuff. Okay. Ah. Okay, here we are in the fat loot's room. This doesn't really look too much different than it used to. A little bit maybe, but not a whole lot. Uh, okay. So, let's uh Let's do this. We're going to loot the more basic stuff first. And then we'll... I, I should have an eye candy. And we'll take that before we loot the really good stuff. I mean, I guess I could just take it right now. I mean, no reason not to, right? Okay, so yeah, let's take it right now. So where is my eye candy? Right here. Let's take that. And we should have luckies on. No. Uh, here's our luckies. Let's wear those. Okay. M.E.O. Nishin. Scrap knife. Books. Uh, that's pretty decent stuff. Got some, uh, some, uh, uh, what are the, what's that called? Testosterone for, yeah, for what's, for whatchamacallit. We got the thingamadoodle for whatchamacallit. Oh, what's that? That is tech junkie. Your robots, learn how to advance your robots to be even more lethal. Robotic weapons do 10% more damage. You know what? Let's, let's actually learn that. Because we do have a robotic thingy. I'm being real specific in uh, in this episode, right? Thingies and 
which McCallits and all that. Is it just me or is the loot not quite as good up here as it used to be? Seems to me like there was more, more of it. Maybe not though. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to take a eye candy for this or not an eye candy, but a jailbreaker. Nice. Nice. We'll take that. Steel leg armor. Uh, I mean, we already have steel armor. Let's look at this. We've got a purple helmet and a purple chest and green legs and D-level boots. I don't, I don't think so. I think we're going to scrap that. No, what the hell? Let's learn it. <laughs> we'll learn it. That way we can make it if we want to. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, let's unlock the door here. So the penthouse in the Deshong Tower doesn't really look that much different from what it used to look like. It's uh, a, a little bit different, but not hugely different. So I guess the question now is, do I want to move here? Yeah! Um, because like I mentioned, I think in one of the earlier episodes, I've always wanted to live in the Deshong Tower, but I've never done it for, I don't know, whatever reason. It would be a super big pain in the ass to get up here because it's so high up in the air. So there is that, you know, um, and I've always wanted to restore it too. Why? Because I can kind of thing, not because... It makes really any sense to, <laughs> uh, you know, restore these these final floors and just just for just for the hell of it, you know. So, I'm not really sure what, not really sure what to do. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you guys to tell me what you think. Would you guys like me to move to the Deshong Tower? Move into the Deshong Tower? And if we do that, um, we're going to live in the penthouse. Because if you're going to live in a big fancy tower like this, you might as well live on the top floor. So we're going to we're probably going to live in here. And what we would what we would work towards is restoring the tower. So we would we would fix all of this and get it all fixed up. I've never done that before. I've always wanted to do that ever since Deshaun existed, which started in Alpha 16, maybe. Maybe even before that, I don't know. But I've never done it. And I don't know, maybe Undead Legacy is not the best mod to do that in. Maybe that's something I should do in a vanilla series, just because it's, you know, Undead Legacy is quite a bit more difficult to get all the resources and stuff to do that. Uh, so, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to hear from you guys. I mean, I'm ultimately going to do what I decide to do. That's just how I roll, right? But, I, I, you know, with that being said, I, I do like to hear from you guys, too. And I, I do take into account your your opinions, too. So, let me know if you guys, what you think. Uh, so, again, should I move into the Shang Tower? Or should I stay where I am and fix up that building and then just, you know, go from there? So... That is really the question. And then based upon, you know, your guys' feedback and what I ultimately decide, that will kind of decide what we're going to do. And with that being said, guys, I think that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.